But yeah, uh, so let's take a look at Kill Squad. And if you're curious about Kill Squad, it is just out for it has been out for Steam, and it is now out for PlayStation. Uh, they kindly sent me over a code. Uh, it is out for PS4. I'm playing on PS5 with backward compatibility, and it is a hack and slash twin stick shooter. Uh, it's got four person co op, so it has a multitude of players. And I think we'll see what it's all about. So, I also love that if you like the PlayStation music has that nice, like, it's got that gentle lo fi to begin just because. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, let's give it a shot. And it's on. Okay, got it. Oh, hold on. You know what? We're going to go back. Uh, we're actually going to stop the game. But first, we'll check for the update. Okay. Let's close the game so we can see it from the beginning. Okay. Nice. They look ready to do some damage. Wake up, bounty hunter. First day on the job, want to stay alive? Listen to mom. Your ass belongs to us, Walla Corporation. We kick the scum out of the galaxy. When others say no, we say yes. And that's because we got you, our kill squad. Handpicked super soldiers with nothing left to lose and plenty of ammo to waste. It's your lucky day. We got a contract for you. Come back alive, and I'll make you rich and famous. But this won't be a walk in the park. Get ready to meet aliens that will chew you to the bone. A Federation army that has a price tag on our heads. An evil plague spreading throughout the galaxy. And yes, our own share of ancient gods, the Unseen, who love to play mind tricks on us. What? But don't worry, it'll be fine. We got your ass covered. Weapons, check. Gear, check. Teammates, check. So what are you waiting for? Wake up, Kill Squad. Time to kick some ass. Okay, who's next? <laughs> Okay. All right. It's a little loud, and I will change it in the settings as soon as we get an option to, but that was awesome. I, I, that's why I want to I always try to go back and close, because um, I appreciate being able to get that intro, because I didn't get, like, I think I rushed through it the first time, because I was like, just does the game run? Okay. So, welcome to Kill Squad. Newbies here usually need a crash course, so let's get on with it. Use to choose your hero and press play to start your first contract. You got it. Okay. Troy, the gunslinger, keeps his enemies at bay while pumping them full of lead. Cosmo, the anarchist, pummels with his sledgehammer and drinks from the battered skulls of his enemies. Okay, Cosmo. I mean, okay. Cass, the apostate, silently slices through anything standing in her path. Zero, the Sawbones, supports and heals with the power of laughter, if he could make them laugh. Ekar, the Prodigy, who needs muscle when you have super tech drones and a sawn-off shotgun? Okay, and we can see their skills here. Um, I feel like the Gunslinger is, like, let's start with the Gunslinger, because that is generally, like, you start with a nice DPS character, and usually they're pretty well balanced. So your basic attack... Accurate shots every time, except when they aren't. Strong shot. Troy deals shoots a massive bullet that travels in a straight line, dealing 666 damage to any enemy hit by it. Nice. And execution. So his passive. Oops, sorry. Troy's basic attacks mark up to three enemies, and then Troy aims and blasts all marked enemies, dealing 400 damage to each one. Okay. Let's give that a shot. That is us. 
Let's check out the settings real quick. Okay, that. Let's go audio. Let's bring you down a little bit. Okay. Did that stick? It did. Awesome. Accessibility. Okay, so we do have color in case you need to change the colors. That's nice. Um, based on the intro not asking me, I assume that captions when needed will be there. And input is just controls, which I I used to love these screens and now I have to admit looking at them is like looking at a menu with too many options and you don't know what you want to eat. Like, just show me what I need to do as I go because I'm not going to remember these until I really get into it. That's just, that's not, it's not going to happen. Um, all right, so let's hop on in. And yeah, I do have this marked as um, branded since I got a free code for the game. And I have the violent marked for this one because I suspect that it may get a little bit bloody. Giddy up. Not giddy up, really? Okay, Troy. I'm not going to read all that because it's going to go by too fast. <laughs> Wasteland 7A. Okay, so. Oh, thank you. I really hope you'll give me those uh, more often. Um, all right, so essentially, this stick fires, this stick moves. You know about Wasteland 7A? It was once known as an idyllic civilization until a nuclear war. Hey, Tanya, good morning. And two centuries of radioactive fallout turned it into what it is today. Apparently, some sort of mutant is out of control and causing trouble to Biosystems Lab's research stations. Here's the thing. The bounty is risen, so it's time for you to gear up and, ideally, get back here in one piece. I just, I just now I'm hungry for crab legs. But let's go. Okay. Um, okay, so I've got a mini map, which you can't see, but it's behind me. And it's um, telling me where my enemy is. And it gives me directional. So we have a specific target to kill, but I'm pretty sure we're probably going to deal with things that want to kill us. It does, it looks similar to From Dust. Um, it looks similar to a few different top-down ones. Ah, yep. Yep. No. No. Okay, I think the skull was me marking the target. Okay. Um. Ah! Well, that's not good. Here's a shot. Get shot. Thank you. Need that health. You've discovered a chest. Oof. Okay. Uh, get closer and open it. Oh, okay. Got a hole to open. Got some credits. I thought I saw some drops over here. Ah. Resource deposits. Get closer and harvest it to receive one type of resource. You can use it to upgrade your equipment. Wasteland stone. Is that like Joss stone? Oliver stone? Hey, uh, bugs? Maybe, uh, let's not. But, uh, hey, 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 hey. Quit it. All right, do I have a, okay, so I don't have a map door. Oh. Oh, apparently, the game does not wait for me. Probably because it is four-person co-op, so if you're taking time in your menu, that's on you. you can't stop me. Woo. 
Okay. And I will also say thank you to Terminals for letting me know about this. Um, this is out now. So it's been out for Steam, and it's now out for PlayStation. Uh, it's released for PS4. I am playing it on 5 with the backwards compatibility. Um, I Twin Stick, I always... Okay, the little fronds that keep moving, I think they're enemies, and they're not. Okay, there's nothing over here. Got it. Everything's very glistening. Oh. What? Oh, finding findables. Okay, so touch everything, which I believe is also if you're Monica Rambeau in the MCU, because Monica always be touching stuff. Always. Big old thing that feels like you shouldn't touch it, Monica's like, I'm gonna touch it. I have not yet seen the new trailer for the Marvels, so I gotta watch that later on today, too. But seriously, like, she always touching stuff! <laughs> oh, you are not friendly, are you? Oh. Oh, crap! Okay, so there's a little bit of a lead-up on the... A little bit of a, a wind-up to that pitch, but then it hits. Okay. All right, we are still heading towards our target. Ah, oh, no you don't. Oh, okay, you're new. Howdy. Ah. You're like in Galaxy Quest when they were like, rock, 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 rock. And everyone's like, I don't know, it just sounds like they're saying rock. Why are they saying rock? What the? Okay, so there's an L1 to like dodge away. Take that health, thank you very much. Okay, can I please find my target? Because this is awful. Oh, don't like it. It is very smooth. Um, and I'm sure, I'm hoping that we get a bestiary so I can see what these special attacks that they're doing. Because they're doing some very clearly, like, area of effect around them kind of attacks. Wicked. Oops, that was a waste of shot. Um, hey, Swagnificent. Swagnificent. Well, come on in. Oop. Okay. Bye-bye. The thing is, I'm rushing towards what's probably a big boss, so I probably shouldn't be in such a hurry, but whatever. Oh, that was rude. Wasteland stone. Okay. Okay, so far I don't have any upgrades. Let's just double check. 
Okay, basic attack, roll, strong shot, execution, and luck of the draw. And R3... Oh, R3 is... Is that my ult? Oh, okay. Alpha, don't look... No. Oh. Oh, no. I walked into a boss room. Oh, I see. I can change the type of thing that I'm shooting by clicking R3. Okay, no. 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 No! Do not like... Do not want... I don't want Amway. Maybe Revlon. No! Ah, oh, keep your rocky appendage away. Good <sighs> job, Kill Squad. Come back here and help Mama count her credits. Okay, so mission ends automatically. If there's anything you need to pick up, pick it up. So it's quick. It works well. Um, it's very fast-paced. <laughs> uh, I can imagine playing this with friends would be interesting. <clears throat> that Sentai pose at the end. And you rank up, you level up, um, you level up your rank, you get rewards. Uh, looks like we got a better gun. Okay, so we got a new weapon. Basic attack has increased. Uh, we picked up a bunch of resources. And let's see our statistics. Um, damage done, damage healing, damage taken, deaths, resurrections, and kills. So when you're playing with multiple people, um, oh, I don't know what those are. Those might be, um, those might be enhancements that you may have done on that run. Okay. Return to the lobby. New cosmetics have been added to the ambush chest. Some of these shiny chests may drop a cosmetic when opened during contracts, but be wary, enemies may be lurking nearby. You got your first text. Congratulations. You've received, you have received your first text. These rare artifacts can be used to buy skills and upgrades for your heroes. Go to Hero Skills. Oh, I like a... Okay, this is nice. I like a good skill tree. Also, I love what Troy's doing with the little, like, the little handheld. It's nice. Okay. Skills are active powers. Upgrades are passive enhancers that are activated by leveling up during a contract. Use your text to buy skills and upgrades. You will need low-cost upgrades to unlock high-cost ones. You have 10 cores that are available to equip any upgrades you buy. Depending on their power level, you may require between 1 and 4 cores. While leveling up during a contract, equipped upgrades will be activated. Here, you can see the progression. That covers skills, but your equipment is also crucial. You know what they say, a hero is only as good as his weapon. When you're ready to go, go to inventory to learn more. Okay, so we've got skills, and it sounds like if we equip them, then as we level up during the thing, we will we'll kind of activate them as we go. Okay, there's a roll. If you get knocked down, you can perform a dodge after hitting the ground to recover to recover faster. You don't waste a dodge when you perform a recovery. And this is the one where if you if you get a recovery, you create a clone. That's nice. Okay.
Okay, so this is my ultimate skill. Releasing a storm of gunfire, dealing 3,900 damage over 6 seconds to nearby enemy and immune... Oh yeah, let's definitely buy that. Okay. Oh, so we could also change the... Oh, we could have... Oh, dang it. Can I, re can I refund it? No? Alright. Can I respec? No? Fine. Oh, what happens if I... Okay, so that's at level 6, so... Do I have any text left or I use them all on that? That's fair. Okay, uh, inventory. All right, the vector is the power of a weapon and prototypes or support element. The element are the type of weapon it damage inflicts. A hero's vector is the average of his equipment vectors. And you can upgrade equipment. Equipment upgrades are modifiers that add unique and powerful effects. Congratulations, you know enough to be part of Kill Squad. And remember, if you have any doubts, consult the tutorials. Now get up, you lazy bums, and get to work. Those contracts ain't gonna work themselves. Yeah, well, maybe we need some self-working contracts. I don't know. Um, alright, so... Okay, so eventually we'll be able to upgrade when we find some chem crystal. But for now... Oh, I see. Okay. Got it. Okay, so this shoots electro bullets, and it's a vector 15. This shoots basic attacks. Okay, your basic attacks have a 25% chance. Oh, I think that's if we upgrade it. Oh, and we can upgrade it. Your basic attacks have a 25% chance of inflicting a toxic status effect. The status effect lasts for 20, 10 seconds. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Now, that didn't increase the power of the weapon, so that's interesting. And this is a solar void. Basic attacks have a 15% chance of creating a fire column. Ooh. All right, let's use let's use you and equip you and we'll Uh, hold on. There we go. And equip. There. All right. You have your upgrade, you don't cuz I can't afford it yet. Um Okay, we have emotes to do because it is co-op, so we have fun in, in in combat with folks. And do I have more in my inventory that I need to, to manage? Weapons, yes. Oh, if I want, I could dismantle it. I don't want to do that yet. Okay, there is a shop where we can take our earnings and buy more stuff. So... I can't afford to buy new things if I want. Ooh, imperishable glory. I like the sound of that. And that's an upgrade of what I've got. Okay. And quests. You have completed your first quest. Welcome to Kill Squad. You can now claim your rewards. New quests will be unlocked as you progress. Okay, so we got some quests. We basically get credits for our first thing. I mean, it's always a donut day. Honestly, I I every day I kind of want to get a donut. And sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. Um, so here are some other contracts or quests. Use a weapon with the recommended element in a contract. So that's cool. The contract will be like you should use you should use this gun. Uh, complete three contracts with Croy or the other characters, and kill the Alpha Gorus. That sounds rough. Um, here's our profile, so we can see what we've done with Troy. And here's the codex. This is what I like. So now we can see what those things have been doing. Um, they are weak. They are weak to ice, and they have resistance to toxic. Okay, they're weak to toxic. 
and resistant to fire. Okay, they're weak to just kinetic and have resistant to electro. And then we found the dolem. Trying not to say dolomite. Uh, they're weak to ice. Okay. So, I get anything else? Not yet. Okay, cool. Let's do one more Roma Troy. Mer what? Hmm. I wonder if that's. I think. Well, maybe it was. I mean, I'm sure it was trying to autosave. Hmm. Um. Mercenary contracts. Contracts are commissions with an objective, a difficulty level, and a reward. Complete one to gain access to others that are more challenging and better paid. Okay, so you get objectives. Difficulty and reward. Okay. So we've already done... <clears throat> pardon me. We've already done this one. And it actually says recommended elements looks like... <clears throat> Looks like the cold one, is that right? And then this is the new one with Electro, which I do have. And But I'm below the recommended vendor vector for that. So we could do this one again, but we're a little bit higher. So I think what we'll do instead is... Ah, uh, that lets you invite people. What I think we'll do instead is we'll try out a new character. Sorry, that's a that's a spam risk. I did not put my phone on Do Not Disturb. There we go. Um, let's try let's try this hero. She's known as the Apostate, and she looks like she's like silent in melee. Um, Uh, hold on. Profile. There we go. Cass, the apostate. Cassandra. Oh, geez. That's that's an interesting combination of names to have to work with. Cassandra Artinster was the great master of the Order of Ash, dedicated to the cult of the Unseen and the Flux. Her years are as a warrior are the reason she's able to use the Flux to teleport or make herself invisible. Hey, Lee. Welcome on in. We'll give her a shot. I may not be able to play well with this character. We'll see. Um, okay. Below. Okay, that's a little tiny. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a little bit tiny, but we can host our public or private match. And we're just going to join. Does that mean I'm joining somebody else? I believe it does. So let's see how this works out. Serene and prepared. Oh, whoops. Let me make sure I'm ready. No. Yes, ready. My okay. sword can cut through anything. There we Wanna go. Wanna try it? Okay, I do like the voice lines. And we're loading. Oh, I like that each character also kind of gets their own, like, header graphic. That's nice. Oh, okay, no, just me. Yeah, okay. She's looking like, you know, Storm on Araco. I love it. Know about Wasteland 7A? It was once known as an idyllic civilization until a nuclear war. And two centuries of radioactive fallout turned it into okay. what it is today. Apparently, here's the thing. The okay, so I have a fiery weapon. And I have a coldy weapon. Uh, 
Um, I have all of the official and many of the, essentially the official rules are rules that were set on the television show series. And unofficial rules were rules that are used in books and comics and novels. I have most of the unofficial like rules, but I, I have all the canon rules. So if there's an asterisk by it, that means it was actually used in the in one of the TV programs. Okay, in terms of hack and slash, I like this character. And I did add an edit for one or two of the rules that is just a little bit not cool. Hey Val, welcome on in. Um, I will take a break when I'm ready, Nybot. Um, so yeah, um, I applied via terminals to get a key to this. So it's available, and I said it's available on Steam. Um, it's available on Steam and PlayStation. Oh, let me pick my thing up before you... Nope. Let me put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. So yeah, this could be a lot of fun. Um, this could be a lot of fun with co-op. <clears throat> okay, let me actually use some of her skills. Okay. Oh, like it. And oh, and she has uh, she has throwing stars. Cool. Ho 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 ho. Okay. So I'm getting like the good hack and slash elements from this. I'm not getting a roguelike kind of feel. Like it seems like the the contracts are so far pretty straightforward. We're doing the exact same one that we did with a different character beforehand. Um. Suck it. So the question is, can I speed run right to the boss is the real thing. Okay, yeah, I see y'all. I see, wait, is that somebody standing in all that lake though? Oh, she definitely has, um, she also has like finisher. Oh, oh, I like that. What I wouldn't hate is, you know, like in terms of accessibility, I know it's a twin stick shooter, but I would not hate an option that basically just let you um, fire in the direction that you're facing. Like, I wouldn't hate that. And some uh, some top down, uh, some twin sticks, and some survivors likes have the have that option of instead of having to manually do that, you just you just keep basically swing, swing, swing in the direction that you're going. But in terms of um, access, not bad. Oh, um, it's slick, it's fast. It actually does, you know, it does, I say bother, it has a story behind it. Um, oh, gimme gimme. Uh, all right. And each of the characters are different. Uh, they have their own different play styles. So there is a support class. There's very clearly like, you know, 
you can put it however you want. Uh, DPS, tank, um, ranged, melee, support, healer, um, a drone. Like, there's one that has a little drone, so there's a little summoner to it. I'm about to die. Surprise. Or not. Clutch. I mean, no, I am going to die, though. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so here's the room with the boss in it. We're so not going to get through this. <laughs> hey, Celestian, thank you for the resub. Welcome on in. I do like the stretchy arm, though. That is kind of cool. It's disturbing, too, but it's kind of cool. Stop hitting my butt. This is not going to go well. Surprise. Well, at least I remember how to dodge. Oh, give it the health. Inescapable. No, no. Okay, that's a clever uh, special move. I just don't have time for it, sir. Nope. Gotcha. No. I need that health. Thank you. you. Nope, nope, nope. Ah. Nope. No. Yeah, there you go. Suck it. Oh. Easy peasy. Lots I, of credits. I don't know about easy peasy. Uh, anyway, excellent <laughs> work, Kill Squad. <laughs> um, I think we also did it with the recommended um element, so we'll get a con. We'll get like a, a thing fulfilled. Hey, Prelt. I like. Okay, yeah. I I, I appreciate the character design as well. So we picked up something called the Reaper. Excellent. And you really do need to equip these new... It's it's very similar to other games where the level of your weapon also and contributes to like your ability to handle things. So this weapon is Vector 15. So it will be, if we equipped it, it would be applied to the average of our entire vector, raising our level, if you will. Um, so yeah, the vector is five, but if I equip this, then our vector goes up to seven because it increased our average. Math. Gross. I know. Um, oh, whoops, we got a quest. Uh, the quest was... Um, the quest was using a weapon with the recommended element in a contract, which we did. And I like that even each of these, like, has a nice line written for it. Um, but we get some good stuff. Oh, we need those chem crystals um, to upgrade our newer, we newer weapons. Um, and now it's just doing contracts with each of the characters. So that'll be fun. Um, and yeah, I would like to eventually look at co-op to see what that's like. Um, I may, I may nudge a few friends in the way of seeing if they also want to try, uh, applying for a code for this. But yeah, there's tons to discover. We only looked at the first map. Um, there's Chemic, the Palace of Pain. Well, that sounds delightful. <gasps> the Skua. Plague. It's just one word, like share. Plague. And others. Nice. So very cool. 
poop. And oh, hold on, where was I? I also like that when you are when you have a certain character up, the shop changes. Like down here, you can basically say, "Oh, I want to see what this character can buy." Okay, so he's all about sledgehammers. Um, they're all about ranged weapons, and then this one is about um, the shotgun. So yeah, each of them has a different type of weapon, different type of style. So yeah, it's kind of fun. Um, it's giving that good hack and slash feel, though. Uh, but I think, yeah, if there were just like one accessibility option for auto attacking, less be less button pushing, and less like, but of course, it's a twin stick shooter. So, admittedly, accessibility would make it a one stick shooter, but it would open it up to other people to play. So, all good. Uh, let's hop back out to the main screen. There we go. Um, Thank you, Dharma Scholar, and also thank you. Hold on, I saw another. Celestian, thank you. Um, so yeah, Kill Squad, if you're curious, uh, hit up the website. There, It's also out in Steam. It's out for PlayStation. Um, again, it's out for PS4. I'm playing it on PS5 with backwards compatibility. And it's cute. I thought I was going to say something after it's cute, but no, apparently not. It's cute. It's also brutal. It's, it's like in 9 to 5 when they ask Violet, you know, how would you bump off the boss? And she's like, oh, I don't know. I think it'd be really cute, like a fairy tale, but also really gruesome. That's what I'm getting from this. Um, so yeah, 